This is Zarya. I'm working on the Python version of the course. Let's see what we're doing. Sometimes a helper needs to repeat the same step over and over again. Oh, oh yeah, we have a loop right here. We haven't seen a for loop yet. What this will do is we're saying for this variable i, so start this variable i in range of four. And so we're just going to keep going up and up and up until we hit that range of four. So that should be three steps. If we want more info about this stuff, and they're going to go into loops a bit more later on, they're super important in code. This kind of shows you loop over a range, repeat a code set number of times. That's how you can think of it. All right. So for this level, we got some bugs, I think. Run. Help. Oh, well, this one looks pretty straightforward. We would want parentheses around this. But again, if you're not sure on some of these, always look over here. Now that one looks right, except What's the name of our person? We don't have our hero on the screen. We have a helper. And the computer doesn't isn't sure what the error is. It just says this isn't working. It couldn't tell us, hey, your helper. Okay. And look, even more. Move right. Why is that? Oh, yep, we need a dot right here. All of these teeny details are important. Well, now I can go. All right, I noticed a few things right off the bat. When I say move up to, let's go back. I can't move up. Yep, that's wrong. We don't need to move up to, we hit this. So let's think about it. It looks like we would want to move down to maybe. Let's try that. And then what are we going to need to do? I think I'm going to want to build arrows. So let's do build and then make this up. And then build and make this up. Let's try. Oh, wait, move down. Nope. I need to move up while I'm doing that, I think. Let's test. Always test your code. It can help you prevent errors. Oh, I have to hit run. Boom. Boom. Okay, great. So, obviously, that's not what we want to do. We would want to move up. Oh, wait a minute. Why are these disappearing? Oh, is this a trap? I think they have a trap here. Okay, so maybe we don't want to be going up. Instead of that, let's move down one. And then let's build the up air. Uh, wait, no, let's move down two. Oh, what they had, I think, was a hint because they had up two. We need to move down two. Then we want to build. If we move down to where do we want to build? Right. Arrow. Okay, let's test this out. And remember, we also have this loop here that could help. Oh, run. And so right now we just hit the loop and that's the code that's running. One, two, three, and oops. Build right arrow. Why didn't it build another? It moved but it didn't build a another. That's because it actually built one, right? And this again, always test your code, always, always. Boom, it builds these first four. Cool, and so what's the last step here? We don't wanna do down, we would wanna do up. Ooh, this one's tricky. And again, the reason it does four, it tells us, it gives away a game right there. Ooh, victory. Always use over here for help, especially on these tricky for loops. We're going to see them a lot in programming. Onward.